it, it feels today the whole process you went through your life it wasn't easy i i know and i can see today that you you were, were able to package that in a portion that a lot of people that wants to learn jiu-jitsu from everything that you've done in a much softer way and have a bigger impact in their life yes because you you, you make the the hard work now you're passing that on not so hard for yes people. because if you see in the in the in the statistics of jiu-jitsu for every 10 new students who come in an average academy eight will leave in six months because somehow they love they they interested to learn jiu-jitsu but they go there to learn and they start to learn and then at the end of the class maybe too soon they spar against a younger guy, a brutal, young, tough guy or kid, whatever, who, who gonna maybe be, gro be brutal and, and smash your face or, or touch your elbow in your ears or whatever. And you feel like, wow, man, I love jiu-jitsu, but you know, I work in computers, I hurt my finger, I cannot. So diminish the interest, the appealing aspect for an average Joe. The two who stays in the academy, they be gonna become black belts, they gonna be tough, they gonna take advantage. But the eight who leaves, they are the most needed ones and they lack yeah. of learning because they have to confront in order to learn. So my suggestion for the bigger audience is to create a, a, a step before that kind of confrontation where you can learn all the skills in jiu-jitsu, where you can feel the invisible aspect of leverage, weight distribution, escapes, without the confrontation. That means the first year of practice you should have a training partner who allowed you to, to feel, to send, to, to, to sweat, to lose weight, to feel good, but not depressed, not hurt your ego, not be disappointed, not be frustrated because you get hurt. So after one year, you're able to choose. I get to the student and say, hey, man, now you can choose. You can go for the path of getting a blue belt and competing jiu-jitsu against jiu-jitsu, or you can stick here doing the protocols. You're not going to be advancing in belt, but you're going to be sharp in your responses to a, some kind of movements. You're going to be losing weight. You're going to be in shape, but you're not going to fight. But you're going to learn in a sensorial mode how to respond to unpredictable All attack. the benefits that art can provide. It's like breathing, connection. Can you imagine today how dehumanized we are based on technology, robotics, internet, we sometimes, if you see kids with 14, 15 years old who should play, who supposed to be outside playing, they stay in a room watching and, and, and playing. So jiu-jitsu can be very good beneficial just for the heartbeat together, just for the breathing, just for the sense of reflexes. It kind of feels that brings people back to nature on their foundation of human being. Yes. Hickson, what is jiu-jitsu for you? And it's very hard to say Jiu-Jitsu without Gracie, because no matter who learns Jiu-Jitsu in the world today, they learn from a Grace member. Yeah. Direct 